Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of what Indians are all about. I still say we Indian people are believers in the truth. This is the way of life that was given to your people. You born an Indian, you're going to die an Indian. Indianness is a good life. You're facing an Indian this afternoon. Good afternoon out there, everyone, and welcome. It's time for your number one source for Native American television news, Native News Today. I'm your host, Jason Salzman, joining you from Muskogee Media Studios here in Altmulgee, the capital city of the great Muskogee Creek Nation. And we are so excited to be bringing you the show this weekend. To all of our viewers in Tulsa, hope you're having a great Saturday. And all of our viewers in Oklahoma City, hopefully it's a nice little Sunday for you. We are so glad to be the state's only statewide weekly Native American television show and longest running. We've been doing this for quite a while now, six years, over 450 episodes. So very glad to be continuing to bring you all this great content, all of our great material on a weekly basis. And so we want to definitely keep going with all the stuff we have. And for this week, we've got some really great features. We're going to take you to Northeastern State University in Tahlequah as they get ready for their 43rd annual Symposium on the American Indian. And this year, very special Native American actor Wes Studi came down to the symposium, actually joined us, uh, gave us an exclusive interview for the show. So a little star power here on Native News Today. Uh, today We have Wes Studi, as I said, he was in Dances with Wolves. He was in Last of the Mohicans, Avatar, top grossing movie of all time. Now, Wes said something interesting at the symposium. He said, you know, everybody says, you're always the bad guy. He didn't look at it that way. He says, you know, the guys that I was playing, while you know, Hollywood kind of makes it look like I was a bad guy. That guy thought he was doing the right thing. So that was interesting from Wes there. We can't wait to show you the feature with him. Also, we'll talk about Heritage Days from my hometown, Eufaula, Oklahoma. And after our first break, we're going to bring in the former mayor of Eufaula and the creator of Heritage Days. Wanted to find a fun way to celebrate the birthday of Eufaula. That is Miss Salina Jane Dornan, who is now with the Muskogee Creek Nation as the public relations official. She will be with us right after this very first break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Native News Today. We believe if you teach a man to fish, you can feed him for a lifetime. We believe that transitioning convicted citizens back into our communities enhances public safety. We believe that every citizen even ex-prisoners, are important and are capable of change. We believe in reclaiming our citizens and investing them back into a culture that embraces healing and restoration. We believe in reintegration. I pledge to embrace and educate offenders in an effort to stop their abuse. I pledge to all women to love them, protect them, and teach them that violence does not belong in our communities and is not our tradition. I pledge to take full responsibility for myself and the women and children of the Muskogee Nation. I pledge to work courageously and audibly to fulfill this pledge for the rest of my life. I think like creatively I was just into drawing for a long time, like ever since I was a kid. It wasn't until maybe around late 2007, 2008, that I became aware of uh, the graffiti scene. It, it changed everything for me. You don't even really understand in the beginning what kind of journey it's gonna take you on, but I think that in order to become great at what you do, it really, it really boils down to how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your own artistic creativity and your own expression. You know, I, I just, I think it, be, it comes from like a belief in oneself and pushing yourself to the limits as far as you can take it.
Welcome back to Native News Today. And as promised, we're now joined by special guest, Ms. Salina Jane Dornan, here in the Muskogee Media Studios. And she is just from across the way over there at Public Relations, <laughs> doing a great job for the tribe in that stead. So uh, Salina, I want to uh, talk to you today about some of the great events we have coming up, but mainly this weekend, today, actually, Heritage Days in Eufaula. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you actually got that started a few years back. Yes. When I uh, became mayor mm -hmm. in Eufaula, uh, one of the first things I did was start Heritage mm -hmm. Day in the spring, which was just prior to our big summer kickoff. It was really something that I wanted for our, our local community, something for uh, everyone to come out and show their crafts and their, you know, food or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was also a celebration of our, at that time, 140th birthday. <laughs> <right>. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you follow was founded in uh, 1872. So in um, 2012, we right. celebrated 140 yeah. years and uh, wow. told a little bit about our history mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of created an event for people to come out. And, you know, the, the local citizens really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. But from that point, it has grown. So mm -hmm. this would be the fourth annual. And uh, when I left office earlier, um, this year, then the Arts Council asked if they could take it over, and I was happy to see someone to take it, mm -hmm. take it to that next level. They right. brought in some new things. They brought some reenactors in. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that uh, some of them actually camped overnight last night, okay. so right. that was probably fun. They wanted Goodness. to wake up in the uh, in the reenactors mode. That oh, was told, okay. So well, I can I can certainly <laughs> understand that. They got to get into that mode. No, yeah. So, but there's plenty of food out there, yeah. arts and crafts, and. Uh, uh, you know, we had the parade this morning, mm -hmm. and our principal, principal chief, chief, George yeah. Tyre, was was the grand marshal. Grand marshal. Right. Yeah, yeah. And waving and smiling. Yes, everybody, yeah. right? we had our trolley. In the I, I hope he was throwing candy too, right? Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep the kids happy, right? <laughs> you know, uh, there were several of uh, our citizens, <laughs> and actually some uh, departments from um, Creek Nation in it it's as well. So, yes. yeah, well, that's good. that's what I want to talk to you about too, Salina. Is that you talk about Eufaula, and there's no way to separate it from the Great Creek history. We, whether we're talking about Alexander Posey, whether mm -hmm. we're talking about Jerome Tiger, yes. uh, or, or the d dormitory, you know, the students that are there, yes. the EIC, you follow Indian community. Um, there's just such a, a creek presence in that city, and it's really neat to see tribal programs and our chief and everything being a part of such a great day to celebrate right. their birthday. Right. Well, you know, when the creek settled there, that was uh, yeah. basically what established our town. Yes. So um, I'm really proud mm -hmm. that uh, for the work that Arts Council has done and that it's something that I kind of uh, birth, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and um, I, I hopefully it's something that's going to carry on. And you know, tonight is the cruise night, cruise and there'll be it's yeah. a big cruise night for you, Fall. Yeah. If you've not been to one, you need to come down tonight. Yeah. I think they start around maybe five o'clock. Yeah. And uh, there's still a lot of things going on. You haven't missed it, so come on down. Well, Lots they've stretched it a little bit now. Like my high school days, we would turn around at the Sonic, go down to the car wash. That was the strip, and I think it's a little bit longer now. Yeah. So you get a little bit more time to cruise, a lot more people out there. Now, if you like the squealing, and what do they call it, when the burnouts or Burn something? The when they, yeah, yeah the they're actually set up a place in front of Gators. Okay. And that, so right. that's where the burnouts are going to be. I'm and, not so uh, big on the squealing, yeah. you know, but uh, hey, that's for some people. Oh. They love it. Yeah, <laughs> so that, some of them line up Yeah, that, those so. Rust to Riches guys, yeah. those gearheads, <laughs> yes. they love that yes. stuff. So Some great cars. Yeah. They, were, they were in the parade today. Some, yeah. yeah, and some, some of the same people come back every year okay. and I'm really happy that they they like coming to Eufaula yeah. and that's a, that's a good thing. And like you said the Arts Council, you all, Muskogee Creek Nation, uh, the city, everybody pulls together to make yeah. it a great event. Horseshoes, food, my goodness, there's just a little bit, there's some, there really is something for yeah. everybody. And I know yeah. it's it's middle of the day now, but it's going to be going on, like you said, the uh, cruise night later tonight. So oh, yeah. something for everyone to go out to Heritage Days. And also, to not let you go before we talk about some other great things, is we have Earth Day coming up here at Muskogee Creek Nation That's next right. week. And our Environmental Services Department, they do such a great job, not only in making sure that our ceremonial lands, our grounds, all the the places around are taking care of our churches environmentally plus just the Muskogee Creek Nation complex you know they do tests and whatnot 
periodically. So they do a wonderful job of taking care of everything environmentally, and that is definitely part of Earth Day next week. Right. We're going to be having a trash day pickup, which I think is pretty unique. Well, I hope I see you out there carrying a trash you're, bag. You're going to. I'm going to yeah. have a trash bag and the, the gonna, reflectors and everything. I'm going to get my whole department out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys carry trash. Well, no. now you've no, locked me thing. into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you heard it. All right. Yeah, it's yeah, a I'll good thing. There. It's yeah. a good thing for the Earth, and we need to be proud. we yeah. got to take care of what we, Absolutely. you know, you know, we should be proud and take care of our our environment. And yes, and, and this is the capital there. city of you know, the fourth largest tribe in America. You know, if we don't take ownership of this place and, and really take pride in it and want to see it beautified and, and everything that goes in with getting trash up mm -hmm. and, and building new buildings, paving new roads, we do all of that, you know, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that uh, we love to talk about and showcase on this program. And Earth Day is just kind of part of that and, and it falls in line with what our programs are doing on a daily basis, on a weekly basis to enhance the communities that we share. So. Yeah. Well, we'll be cleaning up Loop 56, so we're going to invite everybody to come out and yeah. help us out. That'll and, be Wednesday, uh, right? Wednesday yes, from Wednesday. 2 to 4. The first 100 people that come and register that show up at the college, yes. they will get a free t-shirt. First people to come and register with the college, free t-shirt, and like we said, 2 to 4 Wednesday, come help us pick up, uh, pick up some trash. Uh, so me and Salina aren't standing beside the road uh, crying <laughs> as we see the trash being thrown out on the road there. So um, it'll be a lot of fun. As you can see, we have a lot of fun. So we're going to be cracking jokes. I'm sure it'll be um, a real good time with everybody out. And mm -hmm. Salina, just want to thank you so much for dropping yeah, in with us well, and talking about me. some of these things. And like I said, um, you, you've got to look back now at, at Heritage Days and, and just be proud. You know, I would say yeah. knowing that it's still going and it looks to be like it's going to be an annual event there. Yes, I think so. And you know, uh, the Fall Indian community is very involved. They're yes. going to be showing the film, mm -hmm. uh, Sterling Harjo's film mm -hmm. is going to be showing tonight. There's Indian tacos there, so mm. you need to get down there. Boy, I tell you what, I used to just, okay, little story about Indian tacos. I used to just put the fry bread and then pile everything on top of it. Now I crumble it up like biscuits and gravy because Ooh. it got a little too messy. <laughs> so people at home, try that. Don't knock it till you try it, all right? Crumble the fry bread right up, then everything over it. All right, I'm done now. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go eat. I'm hungry. I've learned something yeah, new. Yeah, right. All right. Well, let's take another break. Salina, we'll let you get going. But thank hey. you so much for dropping you in. Bet. And we'll be looking forward to more of you here back. in studio. And it's going to be lots of great things that we're going to be sharing. So we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the rest of the Native News today. Bumagasam gadat, ibufanga, nage, adigat, punhayadi omega, ajayi didet omis. Tayosnok, that's true. Throughout the generations, our elders have taught us to preserve, share, and more importantly, protect the abundant natural resources we have here in Oklahoma. We are the original environmentalists and protector of these resources. The Muscogee Creek Nation believes tribal and state governments must work together to ensure future generations will have clean air and clean water as the ultimate legacy. What is good for Oklahoma tribal nations is good for all Oklahomans. Remember, tribes are truly the original Oklahomans. It's more than just an associate degree. It's a life-changing experience. You'll see a lot of cultural features here on the campus. You'll see a symbol of the mound, which goes back to the history of, of Muscogee people as being in that Mississippian time period, that mound building society. That really welcomes our students whenever they first get here. The college in itself is beyond the building, is the people. They're passionate, very passionate about what they teach, and it shows whenever they're teaching. The instructors and the administration, they really believe in their students here. After a couple classes, I began to notice that it kind of felt as if I were returning back to something, something that has been lost for like a long time. As I learned more about the history of my people, to discover that there were 
very many great people that did a lot of good things for their people, for their nations, and that those people were American Indian and Native American, it kind of brings out a sense of pride that was not really there before. There is a future for our people. Welcome back to Native News Today. Jason Salzman here and want to thank once again Salina Jane Dornan for joining us in studio at Public Relations here at Muskogee Creek Nation. Doing a wonderful job keeping us up to date on all the great events and definitely want to stop out there in Eufaula. Go by Posey Park, go downtown, see all the things happening. We're going to have cruise night later on tonight. You want to get out in the car and burn a little rubber. That'll be fun for everybody. So Eufaula Heritage Day is going on. Still quite a bit of time to get out and enjoy something with the family. Moving right along, our first feature this week will be the Symposium of the American Indian at Northeastern State University in Tahlequah. This is the 43rd year they've been doing this. You know, I stopped off and talked to a friend of mine, Elisa Douglas. She's actually the interim director there at the Center for Native Studies in, uh, in, in, in NSU Tahlequah. And uh, for many years, Phyllis Fife, one of our own Muscogee Creek citizens. In fact, last year we went and uh, talked with Phyllis Fife about the symposium, but it's still going strong. They're doing a great job. Elisa and all the great people there at the Center for Native Studies do a fantastic job putting this together. A lot of young people and this year's focus was on children and um, really what can we do to sort of get our children involved in our culture more, our, our old ones and our young ones getting together, finding common ground. It was a really good theme. We got a chance, as I said in the uh, top of the show, we got a chance in this story as well to talk to Native American actor Wes Studi. And it's just always a great time for us to visit the Symposium on the American Indian at NSU in Tahlequah. This is the 43rd Annual Symposium. Uh, the theme is Children, the Seeds of Change this year. The reason why we have this is because we would like to bring issues that affect uh, the American Indian community to the forefront and talk about different issues that um, is very important and dear to us and that is and one of those issues being uh, language revitalization. The symposium uh, begins with a film series and we had uh, a filming of Ronnie Bodine last night starting West Duty and then we have another one this evening um, titled Playground of the Native Sun and the director producer Celia Xavier will be in attendance um, with us that evening and then on Wednesday morning we traditionally have the NASA opening ceremony and the concurrent sessions run from Wednesday to Friday and starting Thursday evening we have um, language documentation and revitalization seminar led by Dr. Colleen Fitzgerald with uh, University of Texas in Arlington. This year we added a concert on Friday evening and that will um, be Samantha Crane. She's a Choctaw, um, very um, well up and coming artist and so we're excited to have her uh, here. And Friday we will con con conclude the symposium with a powwow. I've, uh, I'm extremely honored to be asked to come and, um, and share some of my thoughts with uh, uh, people who uh, are doing what I did uh, 20 some odd years ago, or, or maybe a little more. Uh, uh, but it's always good to revisit uh, old haunts like uh, this student union of the entire campus. And uh, I had some good times here, I remember that. and. Uh, um, it's and to be able to have some sort of an effect is always good you know uh, there are there are issues that we can all uh, support and or uh, 
uh, at least uh, have a, uh, a part in uh, pursuing them or, or, or uh, you know, making them more prominent, uh, hopefully looking for solutions. And at that point, I, I remember there were times when uh, uh, we as old guys would uh, admonish uh, the younger people because, what? Well, no, that's not Cherokee or, you know, I mean, we were all kind of a little too stuck in our ways and, uh, and, and that's not good. You have to be fluid to live in this world and, and uh, uh, like I say, I firmly believe that the language as a living thing is going to change. It's got to. It, to be dynamic and grow, it has to change one way or another, and we have to accept those changes. And sometimes that's not the easiest thing for us, us OGs. <laughs> all right, I want to thank all the great people at NSU once again there. We love going to the symposium. We just look for it to get bigger and bigger with each passing year. Moving on now, our next feature takes us to downtown Alt Mulgee. Now, I know a lot of people have been excited. A few weeks ago, we talked with Justin Giles, who's the interim director of our Cultural Center and Archives Department at the Muskogee Creek Nation. He and Chris Asbell and all of their great crew in that department really have been trying to invigorate that downtown area, bring a lot more things to the council house uh, to bring more events, make it a community feel with the city of Altmulgee. That's really what they're all about, really a big part of their mission. And this was a, uh, this new story that we're about to share with you is such a unique way to tie it all in. Uh, Chris, uh, Justin worked with Mr. Yadika Fields. He is an artist that they commissioned to do a mural on a building downtown. And, and oddly enough, you know, it, everything kind of uh, works together and circles in together to be related the building is owned by one of our longest standing district judges of the Muskogee Creek Nation District Court, Judge Patrick Moore. It's actually his law building there and they did the mural on the side of it to sort of as a project for the Cultural Center and Archives Department, but really for the city of Altmulgee and get some Native American heritage in there. He is a Creek artist, so it was great to be able to bring Yataka in and the whole city has been talking about this project. So excited to see this beautiful mural there beautifying Alt Mulgee. I've done murals um, all over Miami, New York, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Phoenix, um, LA, Portland, Oregon, um, Melbourne, Australia and um, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, um, Denver. And the thing about doing a mural is it places you in, in a spot for a while and you get to know the area and, and the atmosphere and the people around there, the community, because people are curious and it's great to get knowledge about the, what's happening, especially in, if you're in other countries as well. Yeah, you know, I think growing up, well, I'm, I'm Creek, Osage, and Cherokee, and uh, I grew up Osage. You know, my mom put me in the dances when I was five in Lonska and Hominy, and so I've been around the dances since I was a young kid. Every June we dance, you know, I partake in, in, in the Native American church, stuff like that and so it's, it's, it's been a part of me pretty much my whole life. And but that, that's influenced me beyond you know words that I, you know, I can describe and in my work I think it's my usage of color you know I always think back and they always ask and, and whatever you know if you're applying for anything how is being native affected your work, well I think it's affected my, and I've had to sit and think for a long time, for years, how has it affected my work? You know, what am I doing? Because I am doing something unique. You know, I'm not painting just uh, an Indian man. You know, I'm not going that, that route, you know. I, I chose to do something totally different, you know. Kind of create an own style, an own voice as a Native American contemporary. And I think it's, it's kind of being in those dances, um, being a person that feels things,
and, and to visualize it and create it and have a visual dialogue. I think it's been, you know, even the regalia when we moved the ribbons uh, in sync with the drum to all the colors we wear and kind of breaking that down and meshing it into something wild into a landscape without people, but just the motion. On this particular mural right here, I've uh, sat down with some, um, with some people, Justin, some elders, and I've done a lot of research as well. And for this mural, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of symbolism, but it's going to be Creek Nation today. And so I'm kind of just taking out what's here, what's got us here, uh, in, in symbolic terms, in beauty, in symbolism, and in simplicity in a way, and also that of which will take us to the next for further. In, in, uh, in a good spirit, in a good place uh, for the younger generation. Uh, there's going to be ribbons, corn, smoke, wood, um, symbols of direction. I love murals because it's a challenge, first of all, you know, and it's a blank wall, and I love seeing that because in a week it's going to be a blast of color and movement, and it's going to be totally different. And I give myself a week. Saturday, I want to be finished. All right, that'll wrap up another episode of Native News today. We certainly hope that you enjoyed these last 30 minutes going back and looking at some of the ha things happening this week. As we said, definitely go out, check out Eufaula today and the Heritage Days. You'll have a great time out there. Sorry for our Oklahoma City folks, it's already happened, but we know that uh, the folks in the Tulsa area, they're still plenty of time to get out there, check it out. Cruise night's going to be happening here in just a few hours, so uh, it'll be a lot of fun there in that nice little community. Definitely, uh, at the end of the show, we always like to sort of give you an update on maybe some things that the folks uh, at home or call us up want to pass along some information about events they have coming up. Uh, we had some good people come by and wanted us to shout out their event coming up. The annual Gospel Spring Sing, uh, Singing is coming up Saturday, May the 2nd. That'll be at the Jaeger Mission uh, Methodist Church, 7 p.m. to question mark. Hey, they're just going to be singing and praising the Lord till whenever. So uh, go on out, have a good time. The MC of that will be Reverend Billy Harris. So everyone invited to come out May 2nd, starting at 7 o'clock, spring singing there at Jaeger Mission Indian Methodist Church. So everybody, uh, we want to thank all the people that have made this show great. All of our crew here, Devin Lee Luxinger, Jared Moore, all the great people here at Muskogee Media having a great time this week on the show. We'll see you next Saturday.